the hit Netflix documentary that's made the man known as the Tinder Swindler a notorious household name. He's facing allegations that he defrauded three women out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. And in part two of our exclusive interview, it's clear he's cashing in. Inside Edition's big scoop with the Tinder swindler is getting worldwide attention. The man who's come to be known as the Tinder swindler. He is now speaking out. Denies the accusations in an interview with Inside Edition. Now the jet setter, known the world over as the Tinder swindler, is cashing in on his notoriety. Hi everybody, I'm so excited to be here in Cameo. I'm Simon Levayev. Simon Levayev has partnered with Cameo to record personal birthday greetings and messages for $199 a pop. And he's poking fun in his reputation. Patrick asked me to wish you an happy birthday. You cannot copy my trick of using these credit cards. Levayev has also signed with a Hollywood agent and tells us he has a book, a reality show, and a movie in the works. We're working on a, on a movie based on my life kind of catch me if you can, Wolf of Wall Street. I did get, receive a few offers. It sure seems as if he's still living a life of extravagance despite claims hey, Tony, he's a fraudster. He was just spotted at a Ferrari dealership in Tel Aviv eyeing a red $226,000 sports car. And that Gucci jacket he's wearing sells for $2,600. His flashy wardrobe is about as Simon pricey Tony as it gets. Gucci, Versace, Fendi. Plus, he's still dating his gorgeous model girlfriend, Kate Conlon, who tells us she's sticking with him. People sometimes, you know, do crazy and stupid things, but they say, okay, now I'm different. And this is how we take Simon. Meanwhile, his accusers from the popular Netflix documentary who say they I met Levayev on the Tinder dating app and naively lent him $500,000 combined are speaking out. They shared their stories on the Drew Barrymore show. I really feel that he needs help and I, I, I feel sorry for him. A very empty life that he has. I told him that I'm going to do everything to let everyone know who he is and I think I sort of accomplished that. In his interview with Megan Alexander, Simon Levayev says he's no Tinder swindler. These women have text messages, bank receipts, voicemail messages. Are you saying that they made all that up? They basically took everything, manipulated, added things to make it in a very narrative, which is one side that basically just to destroy my name and to destroy everything. Simon was never charged regarding the three women in the documentary, but they have set up a GoFundMe account and have now recouped more than $220,000 of their losses.